situation. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. than ever I think he has been waiting for this way longer than we have and here comes here comes his challenger for tonight Blue Mysterioso just like you said Moin he's excited and so are we it's gonna be an amazing night and I think Gentlemen, Wrestling Revolution Global, July Ki Jung is about to begin right in front of you. Joining me in the desk, Moinuddin, and of course, the greatest heel in the business of the Rahman. Boys, this is going to be an absolutely crazy match. Sure it is, Daniel. And we are underway. Abdullah Khwaja, Blue Mysterioso. 18 months in the making, ladies and gentlemen. 18 long months these men have waited to square off once again inside the WRG ring. Last time, of course, the veteran, the founder, Abdullah Khwaja with a win and roll! Abdullah Khwaja with a high booted damp roll through, did Blue Mysterioso. Tries to grab the neck, loses it. These guys are extremely slippery. Nah, the there's that cradle. One, two, one. Kick out. Close fall there. Abdullah Khwaja, oh, oh my god. Small package, one count, Blue Mysterious is up. Both of these guys. This is going to be amazing. Back and forth, cheap wrestling, this is amazing. Oh, when you spend a lot of time with both of these guys. Oh, here we go. They're constantly going at it. I think 
Boom Studio Souls gained a bunch of strength and he just Look wants to end this pain. as quickly as he wants to. Here we go. Bridge is over. Just got a pin. One count again. Abdullah Khwaja gives up and so does Boom Studio Souls. My god, what a stalemate that was. They can go at this pace, can they? I don't think so. They gotta slow it down, but this is Abdullah Khwaja and Blue Mysterioso. 18 months ago, ladies and gentlemen, Blue Mysterioso was a completely different wrestler. He was still learning. And here Abdullah he is. going for a test of strength there. 18 months after trying to beat undoubtedly the most experienced veteran in Pakistani professional wrestling, Abdullah Khwaja, graduate from the Alstor Wrestling Academy. Look at that, beautiful. European wrist lock applied by Abdullah Khwaja. He looks in agony. Floats under. Ooh, that's gotta hurt, Muin. Oh yeah, for sure, man. I think we read the match uh, a little wrong in the beginning. They were, they were, uh, they were giving us a show. They're here to entertain first and foremost, and uh, Abdullah Khwaja, Blue Mysterioso, they're entertainers first and foremost, and that's what they're doing. And uh, we love, we love to see that. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Beautiful, effortless, seamless. Blue Mysterioso with a beautiful takeover there. Sends him to the middle rope. Abdullah Khwaja is on the outside. Blue Mysterioso would like to challenge him to come in the ring. What a beautiful exchange that was. <laughs> Abdurrahman, you've trained with these guys. You know 18 months is a lot of time. Since I've been in the ring with both of these guys, one thing I can tell you about Abdullah Khwaja is he's realized more of his striking. And one thing I can tell you about Blue Mysterioso is he's gained a lot of muscles and a lot of weight. So I'm really looking forward to that strong style that he's going to make this match. Veteran move there, went inside first, let him come in, double axe handle with Blue Mysterioso. Comes back, high boot there, Blue Mysterioso took a hard landing. Muin first match, Abdullah Khwaja won, of course, by removing the mask of Blue Mysterioso, a luchador's identity. A luchador cannot allow his mask to be removed, and we'll see if he tries to resort to similar tactics in this fight. I think uh, Abdullah was pretty desperate there at the at the last match at Air by Feast. He was he was desperate for a win there, and I think he's gonna play a little fair. But uh, but by the looks of it, do it doesn't seem that way. Look at him. Look at that arm lock. Look at him, just trying to squeeze that victory out oh, of. No. Oh, oh, there's that dirty like, play. There's I mean, that dirty play from him again. Just like Moin said, uh, Abdullah, he, he knows his, his arsenal. He knows he, he has to be technical in order to win this match. I mean, Blue Mysterioso, he's a high, high flyer. So he's, he's taken him out of his element just to be able to grab control of this match. Oh my God. Straight to the gut there. Abdullah Khwaja, relentless. I mean, Abdullah. guys, look at the pace. The pace has slowed down. Abdullah Khwaja has controlled the pace of this match and he's going to be uh, able to, you know... Control the pace as much as he wants. There we go. Floats over. You know Once what's again, coming. You know him. what's coming. Oh, oh beautiful yeah. drop kick there! Blue Mysterioso! Drop kick from Blue Mysterioso. There's a high, high elevation there. Kick to the midsection here. Goes for a suplex. Snappiest suplex I've seen yet all night. Blue Mysterioso beautifully taking control back of this match. The pace has suddenly quickened. And what could he be thinking? Come on, give them what they want. Give them what they want. Give the people a uh, dope suicida. Oh. Dope suicida. Dope suicida all the way from the blue heavens. Blue Mysterioso is on fire. That's got to be it. That's got to be it, Daniel. He just needs to get him back in the ring. Remember, pinfalls, submissions, all in the ring. Ooh. That's just Blue Mysterioso humiliating Abdullah Khwaja now. He's trying to get back at all those dirty tactics that he's been facing. Shades of Rift Fair there. Of course. Woo! All day. Even in Pakistan, you hear the crowd go woo every time you hear a chop. Greatest of all time. Abdullah Khwaja rolled back into the ring. Blue Mysterioso following him. Woo! Hard shot there. Center of the ring. Try to perhaps go for another suplex. Fisherman style suplex there. Blue Mysterioso, he, he should go for the cover he here, I think. Oh, he has to go for the cover. Oh, this, this could be all guts, no glory. This is or a, does he a think wasted movement from Blue Mysterioso. He's, he, has to, uh, he needs to do his cover. Well, that's just the veteran versus the student. And here we go. Oh, oh my God. God. Beautiful target. That's it. That's it. Take it down at two. Beautiful blue thunder bomb there from Abdullah Khwaja. I, I, I seriously thought that was it. Abdullah Khwaja making sure the referee knows how he feels. Blue Mysterioso. Abdullah Khwaja double axe handle there. Drops him down. 
That's where Abdullah wants him, on the floor, with his back. Back on the mat and two count once again. Muin, what are you seeing here so far in this match? Uh, I definitely see a frustrated Abdullah Khwaja here. He never thought that he would have this kind of a match from Blue Mysterioso. Blue Mysterioso is putting up an amazing challenge. I think we're in for a hell of a match right now. Uh, Blue Mysterioso is not afraid to taunt him and to come out challenging him to, to, to ask him in the ring, you know, what, how did he even win the last match? And you know, this is, this is the story of this match. Abdullah Khwaja told us beforehand he's not expecting much of a fight. He wants to put him away early. Yeah, those are stiff elbows right in front of us. But Abdullah wants to put him away early. He wants to go home, make sure he watches the rest of the show. But this is turning into a match. And I, I actually talked to Boom Mysterioso before the match, you know. He, he was mm. actually talking about something about not using his elbows. And he was talking about saving his elbows. That, oh. that was a ruse. That's, I, uh, let me tell the audience, that's the hardest part of this ring. The hardest part of the ring is the ring apron. Oh my god, into the guardrail there of the gymnasium where all the boys get to train. Abdullah Khwaja and Blue Mysterioso are going all over the place for this match. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess we're going upstairs. I guess we're, we don't know what's happening, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, we have don't have a screen in front of something like this in professional wrestling? <laughs> They're going upstairs in the Civic Center. We can't call this match, Muin. This is not in front of us, but this is amazing. Back, this, is exactly, this is exactly what I love about Wrestling Revolution Global. They're not afraid to take it to the streets, to the arcade, to the mall. They just want to fight. They just want to rumble it out. And there the ref is back oh, in the Oh, there he is. There he is. Up on the balcony. Oh, Guys, my up God. up on the balcony. That's the Abdullah Khwaja, Blue Mysterioso, going at it up in the balcony. What are they doing there? I mean, you got a pin and you got a oh! Throws him in the guardrail. That has to hurt, Blue Mysterioso, I swear. It's a one fall match. You can't win a match when you're not in the ring. Whoa, whoa, you whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. Don't do this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ref, you gotta stop it. Abdullah Khwaja might kill a man here and throw him off the guardrail. Near escape from, from Blue Mysterioso there. Hard shot to the mix section. Abdullah Khwaja might get tasted with his own medicine. Oh. He does. Going into the guardrail once again. Oh my god, these guys need to be careful. What are they even planning here? Oh my god, this hard. This is brutal. This is insane. He just, he just needs to get him back to the ring and cover him. I Re think that's it. Referee with a very generous three count there. It should be much more than that, but <laughs> this is Wrestling Revolution Global. It does not matter. We are going everywhere. He's bringing him back down. <laughs> or not. They could going, going to the second, the floor second floor. At this point, it's, it's about where the stairs take them. I hope it's back inside the ring. I think they're coming back down. They're definitely coming back down. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, here we go. Abdullah Khwaja and Blue Mysterioso. They're back. Oh, stiff shot. You right know, in the upper back. At the beginning of the match, I never thought that Blue Mysterioso would be the one dragging Abdullah Khwaja back into the ring. I mean, that's sort of sheer strength, man. It's it's Ooh. brilliant. I mean, Moin, if you take a look at Blue Mysterioso, he's going, gained a lot of muscles uh, in the last in the last two or three months. So he he, he could be really effective with those uh, hard hitting shots. And that's two months. Imagine eighteen months. It's been eighteen months since the last wrestle. Abdullah Khwaja expected an easy win here, but he's been put through the ringer. My oh. God, here we go! Oh. 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 Cover him! Cover him! <laughs> Beautiful middle road superplex off the apron. All pure strength there by Abdullah Khwaja. You need a lot of power to be able to hoist a person up there. No. Two count. Barely. He barely got his shoulder up there. I mean, what's it going to take to put Blue Mysterioso away? That should have been it. That should have been it. I, th I thought he was done for. But nonetheless, we go on here. What an amazing match this has been already. It's spilled out everywhere. Blue Mysterioso Send thrown into the corner. In the oh. oh! Running uppercut. Puts him down. The purple and black attack is on tonight. Abdullah Khwaja really putting on a clinic. And Blue Mysterioso uh, hanging with the best of them. I don't think it's the right idea. Oh man, this is where Blue Somebody's Mysterioso... Somebody's gonna get hurt. Blue Mysterioso thrives in this position, but he's being attacked here. Yeah. Oh my oh. god, what is he thinking? I have no idea. Oh my god, this 
No, I think that's this. a very dangerous do piggyback this. ride. No. Oh, he, he breaks it. Yeah. Thank God he breaks it. What would have happened if he didn't? Abdullah Khwaja back down. Blue Mysterioso needs to be careful about that mask. Abdullah tried to scrape it off of his face the last time. Oh no, oh no. Fireman's oh carry. My God. I don't want to see this. Oh my oh. God. Oh, rolls over. But I think Abdullah got hit there. As he was coming down. Both of these guys. Oh my God! I hope they're okay. I think Abdullah Khwaja is hurt. Abdullah Khwaja definitely hit his head. Re referee checking on him. Blue Mysterioso and Abdullah Khwaja have put each other through so much, so much pain. Oh. It's over, he says. No, no. A oh, package no. ball driver. He's trying to go for it. Oh, DDT! Oh, oh. Come on, pin him, pin him, Blue. Blue's gonna go That's for the it. cover. That's it. That's one. That's it. That's two. That's it. It's all over. Oh, oh my God! Oh. That could have been three. Ball. That's a nerve. That was a clean DDT, as clean as they get. A brilliant reversal by Blue Mysterioso. He took advantage oh, he's of Abdullah Khwaja's fatigue. I was about to say uh, we haven't seen much of a uh, high flying style from Blue Mysterioso in this match. And we're about to see that. Where's oh my God! Here we go. Elbow drop. Oh. One, two. No! The La Huaja hangs in there. Resilience of the veteran. Making sure it comes into play here. Just imagine the pressure on Abdullah Khwaja. I mean, his father is watching him. I mean, he has trained all these guys. I mean, what is going to do if he, if, if he loses to one of those guys? This is his hen house. This is Wrestling Revolution Global. This man founded it. This is the first match of July Ki Jung. What would it Trading. mean if he loses here? Oh, and a... Trading stiff shots. Up kick, bump kick, oh, pardon me, and a kick. super kick! Come on, that's it. One, two... For sure, I really want to see more of a fight from Abdullah Khwaja, and I, I, I haven't more seen that. More of a fight? Yet. What more do you need? This guy's doing excellent. What a beautiful super kick and a beautiful up kick, a bump kick before that by Blue Mysterioso. Ah. Moin, this is a fight. <laughs> we've seen that every fight as we have get. Seen every type in this in this wrestling match. I mean, we've seen the high flying, the strong style, the technical wrestling. I mean, I don't know what what, they, what it's going to take to, be, to beat one of these guys. Ooh. Already this match is turning into a spectacle and that's exactly oh! what <laughs> Jalai Kijang. Falcon's arrow! Ooh. Breaks again, Blue Mysterioso. Two count. How is that a two count? Abdullah Khwaja has pulled out every trick in the bag. Actually, there might be more tricks. Abdul Rahman, what else can these guys do or go for here? I mean, Abdullah Khwaja, he needs to he needs to slow the pace. He needs to watch for, 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 for something that he, can, he could open Blue Mysterioso up on. He needs to wait for his moves. Leg oh. drop right across the neck. I mean, that's it. That's it. That's a disrespectful cover is what it is. He's not that was taking a reflex. him seriously. That's, that's not even a kick out. That was a reflex. But he, look at the lackadaisical cover. Just the leg draping over the neck. Of course, he's going to get up out of it. But that's just to humiliate him. And Abdullah Khwaja has got the guillotine. It. Yeah, it's, it's locked in deep. Whoa! Like I told you, the strength of Blue Mysterioso. He's been training hard. And that's the proof, ladies and gentlemen. Proof's in the pudding. He picked him up and slammed him down. Beautiful reversal to a guillotine. And we might go all night. We might just go all night. We got two more matches after this. Daniel, I don't know what we'll be seeing after this, but this match is already sent to the left feet. Lock jawed. Oh, look and at this. Oh, oh my God. There it is. That's oh, classic luchador. That's classic luchador. Oh, he set up. There he goes. You know what's coming? Six, six one nine. Nine. Oh. Beautiful six one nine. Abdullah Khwaja thrown. Springboard. Wow. Oh, spine buster. Spine on the pine. One, two, and a beautiful reversal gets just the two count. Excellent, excellent wrestling here between both these guys. Jalaiki Jung. It is hot in here. It's yeah. only getting hotter. Daniel, I'll oh. tell you what, if there was this anybody else at the receiving package, end of that 6 package. one nine. Oh, oh, package, 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 That's it, that's it. Oh, Come he's on, not even, it. Oh, look at that. He needs Cover. to go for the cover. He can't kick out. I mean, it's a package pile drive. I've never seen this one. Movie. WRG ever. Two, three. Oh, he kicked out. He's kicked he out. He kicked out. He kicked out. Abdullah Khwaja what? cannot believe this. He kicked out in Lumen two. Just barely. He the barely referee. kicked out. You know. The referee's in a lot of trouble here. His boss is angry here. Blue Mysterioso still has a chance. 
That looked like it was three, but Blue's arm came up right before the hand hit the mat. I mean, look at these people. They're behind Blue Studios. So they want him to get up. They want he, him to beat his ass. This should have been over. This could have been over if Abdullah just went ahead and pinned him when he was supposed to. But instead, he decided to showboat and here we are. The match still goes on. The move that's too dangerous to be used in WRG or any other promotion. And then Khwaja just, just use it to... Oh, oh Spike oh, Rana! Oh, oh, oh. He just spiked his head! Spike Rana beautifully done there! He's gonna go for the cover, he should! Oh, Blue Mysterioso is going you for all the coming. marbles! You know what's coming, Daniel. He's setting him up in the corner! He's gonna go to the top rope, ladies and gentlemen. This is the high red district. High risk, minimal reward if he misses. All the reward if he gets him. Four oh, That's it! One, two, three! Ladies and gentlemen! Oh, what an upset! What an upset! What an upset! Blue Mysterioso has pinned up the La Huaja. Blue Mysterioso has pinned up the La Huaja. How in the world? What an excellent match, what an excellent performance, and what an upset for Blue Mysterioso. This is a career-defining moment for the young man here who has put away the most experienced wrestler in WRG today. Blue Mysterioso has done it. He has beaten the one. Blue Mysterioso, ladies and gentlemen, what an amazing performance. But what does this mean for Abdullah Khwaja is what I'm thinking. What does this mean for the president of Wrestling Revolution Global is what I'm thinking. Because this should have been it for him. This should have been all. This should have been the first victory amongst many. But here we are, Blue Mysterioso with an amazing upset, with an amazing performance, a 450 to close the show. He almost got him there, we even saw that. And with that win, ladies and gentlemen, from Blue Mysterioso, July Kijang is on! And the next event is a triple threat match scheduled for one fall. Triple threat action up next here at Wrestling Revolution Global, July Kijang. The entrance music plays and we wait and we wait. The sign of somebody who is not so concerned about what people have to say about him coming out. Here he is, Heather Ali. Man, I think he doesn't like you too much if they're honest. Ladies and gentlemen, in the ring, weighing 105 kilos, he's about to make his entrance again with his new name and his new identity. That was a bit harsh, wasn't it, Daniel? For sure. Ali's making sure everybody knows what's up. 
And what's up is he's mad. He's angry. He shoved Mui in there. He, if he wants to change his name, shouldn't he go to Nadra? <laughs> or you could just grab a mic and announce it. That's professional wrestling. Yeah. I think Umar Fassi just had a mini heart attack. That man was running into him. He's wrestling John Cena. Woo! That is, ladies and gentlemen, an intimidating presence. 105 kilos of absolute mean, lean, green. Strong words from Heather Ali there. Protein. I finished it. Thank you. Heather Ali, not too impressed by anyone here. And the loud, I mean, the quick guitar playing only means one thing. It's time for Nadeem to make his way to the ring. He's challenging tonight. The red and white attire, he's here, he's focused, he's ready, and we're about to get out of the way. We only know one person who's missing in the ring right now, and he's quite low, 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 rowdy, I think so. But Daniel, this is going to be the most charismatic match in WRG history, mark my words. Charismatic is right, Heather Early absolutely flew into the ropes, and in the ring already, Heather Early, sorry. What's his name now? Ali Ibn something? Ali. I'll call him Ali. Ali Ibn Nazar. Nazar. Oh man, here we go. It's time for a veteran's veteran. <laughs> the sirens only mean one thing. It's low, low, rowdy doctor time. The world silver medalist in grappling. The badass. Rowdy! Here he is, the meanest policeman ever! Ever, and there have been many policemen that are mean in Pakistan. Absolutely no fear in this man as he wears sunglasses to the ring, tattoos on his body, and the words that I just said, no fear, written across his belly. This is Rowdy Cocker, Cocker, row, row, Rowdy Cocker. He's here to kick some ass. <laughs> he looks like he's about to kick some ass. Flanked, of course, by his goons, holding up the belt to signify that this man is a grappling champion. A legit badass, ladies and gentlemen. Row, row, Rowdy Cocker is here. And what a triple threat match this is going to be. Up to the mile, absolutely. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. That. I mean, I'm as much as excited as you are, uh, Daniel. I'm hoping that this match is going to be the match of the night tonight. You shouldn't do that to a referee. Ali Ibn Nazir. Come on, man. Getting out of hand here. And Ro Ro Rowdy Cocker. Going to take a stage. Is that even a legal belt? Daniel? Of course it is. That's, that's, not, that's not even WRG title. That's the Pakistan oh, Grappling oh, Championship, my friend. That doesn't mean anything in WRG. I completely agree with you. It means nothing in professional wrestling. But it does certify him to be a certified trained machine when it comes to the grappling arts, but we know that does not always necessarily mean something. Moeen gonna be joining us back down here. This match is gonna be absolutely crazy, I can already tell. No fear. I mean, look at the mass. I mean, look at these guys, Anel. <laughs> Rough day on the job, huh, Moeen? <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell you, man. Whenever these guys come up in the ring, it's always a bad day for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Moen, you came back alive, man. Hey, that's all that matters. You can still talk to us and everything. Ro Ro Rowdy Cocker, Meher Nadim, and Ali Ibn Nazar. This is going to be triple threat action. Yeah, just feeling each other up. Oh, both of them at the same time, and for Nadim. Oh, that's that's rough, man. That's a rough start for Look Meher Nadim. Look at that Nadim. veteran's instinct there. Ro Ro Rowdy Cocker doesn't care about what they're doing. He's just going to wait it out. That's the element of a triple threat match. Oh, okay. Never mind. Meher Nadim's, unfortunately, beach ki billi, as they like to say. He's just going to be slapped around by both these jets. Hard jump there. I, I don't know how long Meher Nadim rough. is going to take this, but uh, it's not going to last long for him by the looks of it. It could be pretty over pretty soon. 
Well, they need to still take care of each other. Ali Ibn Nazir and Rowdy Rowdy Cocker. Absolutely, there's no point of a team up in a triple threat match because there's only one winner. Well, it's bad for Meher Nadim. Oh, he's he biting him. Oh. Come on, ref, you gotta stop him. That's a fast count, ref. Oh, oh, oh. No disqualifications, don't forget, but the referee still implored to go ahead and break those holds, those illegal holds. Nadim is fighting back. Nadim is right in the gut. Meher Nadim trying to make some kind. Oh. Nadim he's, cho choke he's trying to choke out him. He's trying to choke him out. Now see, Meher Nadim is an athlete. He, he believes in getting respected in, in, in the oh. ring. Yeah. There is no respect in this ring. Look at how Rowdy Cocker immediately turned on Ali Ibn Nazar. There is no friend in professional wrestling ring. Somebody's got to turn always. Look at this. Suplex. Incoming. Lands beautifully. Ali Ibn Nazar. Going to be having a hard time seeing the suplexes coming. He needs to keep his head on the game. Oh, an yeah, hard he, shot. He, he needs to run his mouth. Talk now, big boy. <laughs> Abdul Rahman, I love you and I can't wait until you wrestle again, my friend. Look at that Roddy Roddy Cocker. Boot to the back. Ali Ibn Nazar. Laid out in front of us. Meher Nadim. And he choked he's, out. He's favoring his shoulder. I think he's injured. Roddy Roddy Cocker told, telling the referee to go to hell. I mean, Daniel, who's, who's your money on, on this match? Oh, man. Uh, you, gotta, was, you gotta pick one, though. I got Roddy Cocker, my friend. Only because of the experience, only because of the size, only because of the fact that he has absolutely no fear, a hard job. But honestly, this is anyone's ball game right now. We are yet to see what these guys can come up with. Oh, and a nice kick there. Ali Ibn Nazar. Rowdy, what's your money on? Who's uh, your uh, money? Uh, Abdul I'm definitely, I'm always in the corner for good guy. I am rooting for Meher Nadim, but I don't think that's the wise choice right now. <laughs> Hard suplex. Oh, Rowdy Cocker, of course, coming in just to not break in the count, but make sure he feels him nonetheless. Our referee is definitely feeling the heat of this match. Oh, referee, everybody. Everybody is feeling the heat in any case. This is WRG Wrestling Revolution Global brought to you by our WRG and on the mic of course. This is a triple threat match if you're just joining us. Rowdy Cocker about to punish Ali Ibn Nazar. Oh my god! Daniel, I think this match will be remembered as a collection of groin kicks rather than a triple threat match. <laughs> He's gonna, uh, we're gonna we're gonna miss the fact that he can't have kids now. <laughs> Rowdy Cocker's got big feet, and Ali Ibn Nazir pushing you on Wien. He's got big balls, so that's gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just. I mean, the thing about uh, triple threat matches. Is oh you my God, that's a stiff shot there. Mer Nadim laid out Rowdy Cocker. It's one on one for the time being. Come this on, is when Nadim, you need to come, come in there. This is his chance. This is his opening. He's at, he has to capitalize. This is my guy's chance. Oh! oh. Jesus, cut him in half. Took his head straight off there. Mayor Nadim asking the crowd, Ring Rust, what is that? I was ready to fight all year long, baby. Snap. Suplex! Beautiful suplexes Come on, tonight. Cover him. Cover the him WRG him. boys know how to throw some suplexes, let me tell you that. Beautiful work. The red and white maestro making sure he can compose a tune of violence tonight. Suplexes and now a knee. Ali Ibn Nazar not talking all that smack now, but don't count him out. He's big, he's powerful. Oh my god! Gut wrench suplex! Beautifully done there. The thing about uh, triple threat matches is you cannot focus on, on, on a single guy. You have to ha have your eyes open all the time. Another suplex. Meher Nadim is from Lahore, Pakistan, or should I say suplex city, bitch. <laughs> Adhirman, you, you caught uh, that on very well. Meher Nadim had his eyes open. He was waiting for Rowdy Cocker to make his entrance back into the ring and get some of his action. Another gut wrench. Another gut wrench incoming. <laughs> Oh oh. Oh. You gotta cover him. Oh. How many suplexes is that? Roddy Cocker's gotta be hurt here. Oh, he's gonna go for the pinfall. 
No road, no road breaks or disqualifications in this one. That's why you've seen multiple groin shots. Referee checking in. If I think Roddy's hurt. Roddy looks really hurt. He looked hurt when um, Ali Ibn Nazir tossed him. Immediately, I was worried for him. Ali Ibn Nazir, the man standing though, that's good. For him, bad for Meher Nadeem. Stomps the leg there. He's targeting the legs of both these men. If you, if you can't stand, you can't wrestle. What are these guys looking for? Oh my He's going to choke him out. Uh, that's disturbing to watch. That's a hard steel cable. That's not a rope. That's not multi-foam. That's plywood and hard steel cables there. Holding up the ring. Referee might call it it. Ali Ibn Nazar has laid out both men by the end as the smoke clears and the rubble remains. Ali Ibn Nazar stands tall about both these superstars. And we need to see superstars. What is this? WWE? That's exactly why I put my money on it. I don't think Ali Ibn Nazar is a superstar man. I think he's a brawler. I think he's a pure, bona fide, legit, badass brawler. He doesn't care about the stardom. Throws him in the ropes. Look at this. Spine that's to the it. pine. That's it. I mean, spine to the pine. That's a beautiful spine buster there. And with that, the smack talk is back from Ali Ibn Nazar. And he's really, he's beating these guys to a pulp. And now it's just a matter of who he's going to pin to take this match. Ali Ibn Nazar continues to work on the legs there of Rowdy Cocker. Double Boston Crab applied there. Shades Boston. of Chris Jericho. Boston Crab City, baby. Ah. Boston Kekra, I like to call it. Tell me, Daniel, is it wise to go, of, uh, to go like, uh, to grab a hold on uh, a grappler like uh, Rowdy? I, I mean, if he's hurt, if anybody's hurt, you can choke him out or at least, you know, submit them. Uh, but if you go grapple for grapple, it's going to be hard. Rowdy's not going to get submitted, though. That's what I think. Rowdy Cocker's a legit grappling badass. He's hoisted up right now, but submission. Fireman's carry. Fireman's carry. Where's he going to go here? Multiple options. Oh! F5, F6, F10. What was that? That's an that's F. That's it. Oh, that's an F in the chat as Mary Nadim breaks it up. Beautiful there. You got to love triple threat action. I love triple threat matches and I love professional wrestling. I love, absolutely love professional wrestling of the Rahman. I cannot believe I'm here to do this. WRG Wrestling Evolution Global brought to you by On The Mic and WRG. If you are just tuning in, joining me in the booth, the best damn heel in the business, Abdul Rahman, and of course, the manager and the voice of WRG, Muinuddin. Oh, Daniel, this is the spectacle that we came here to watch. Look at that ingenious. He has two legs, he has two opponents. He's gonna use both of them on them. Anybody Beautiful. who watches, anybody who, who trains as, as an athlete knows how hard it is to do that, a drop kick by a size of that dude. Double so drop kick. Got both guys. Working on the legs, everybody's legs are going to be hurting tomorrow, I can guarantee you this. Look at that, Rowdy can barely stand up, those legs are banged up. Meher Nadim also feeling the effects. Stomp there. Stiff kicks there. What a night this has been already, what an amazing clinic we saw Abdullah Khwaja and Blue Mysterioso put up. And now, triple threat, Rowdy Cocker, Meher Nadim and the recently renamed Ali Ibn Nazir. Into the ropes. Outside Stand the ring. Outside. What are you planning to do? A suicida? Oh my god, imagine Rowdy Rowdy Cocker doing a suicida, man. I would go crazy. Super kick! Throws him out the if ring. If he can land a drop kick, he can do anything. I mean, he can do a tope suicida, he can do a backflip. I don't doubt him. You name it. Here he is, the king of the hill on top of this. And he goes down. He doesn't want to be the king of the hill. He wants to beat his opponents up. And he wants to win this match. He needs to get them inside and pin them. <laughs> I love to see it. Rowdy Cocker making sure that they shut up. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh! Woo! That's a chop, baby. Chop and a half. In a traditional triple threat match, there are no count outs. But in WRG, we, we kind of modified that, that whole thing. 
I like it. So we do have condoms here. Means more entertainment for us, more action for us. Ooh! Thrown hard into the apron. And like you mentioned earlier in the night, hardest part of the ring, the ring apron. Rowdy Cocker, the veteran that he is, breaks the count. But perhaps for someone else, Ali Ibn Nazar now joining the action. Some payback. Everybody's getting some here at the ring apron. Everybody's getting their head banged into it. I don't know if they're going to be conscious at the end of this match. This could be just a plain straightaway knockout. Man, these are some heavyweights here. Oh, nice kick on the inside. Right on the thigh. Right on the thigh. I wouldn't like to get kicked there. Thai. I almost did. Thigh or gluteus maximus. I'm not sure which one it was nonetheless. Marinadim also rolled in. Smart here. He's going for a cover here. I think that's it. What? Oh. oh, look at that, Roddy Cocker coming in nonetheless. Grabbing him by the hair, grabbing both of them by the hair. Man, wrestling should equal a lot of hair fall. I think it's a good fall. idea to you know, just pick both of them up at the right time. Oh, heart suplex! Roddy should go for the cover. Oh, nice kick at the end. Roddy, innovative. He's just throwing him out of the ring. That's smart. He's completely eliminated Marinadim from the equation. A suplex and kicks to the gut. Yeah. Just now, keep him, just keeping him between him and Ali, Ali Ibn Nazar. Whew, what a match. What a fight. What a night of matches it's been. Beautiful small package. Oh no, he's going in for the for the Kukina clutch. The, the rear naked choke. It's a rear naked choke. Whatever you want to call it, he's choking the life out of him. Marinadim's getting back in the ring though. That is the grappling expertise that he announced in the beginning of this match. He is a champion. Oh, beautiful oh. break there. No, I'm not sure if it was beautiful, but it was effective. He broke it up there. That's that's what mattered. Definitely. I thought Marinadim was down and out, but I was so wrong. Fans here in suspense on what's going to happen next. WRG Wrestling Revolution Global here bringing to you an incredible triple threat match. Rowdy Cocker in control. Ali Ibn Nazar being manhandled here. Oh, he's going to go for the inverted DDT potentially. Oh! That's gotta be it. That is all. That's it. One, two, three. That's a two. I believe that's a two. I'm not sure. That's a two. Referee announces that as a two. The match will go on. Mehran Adim dropped hard on his head. Rowdy Cocker kicks him now. Well, Daniel, I was convinced oh, otherwise. I, God. I thought that was three as well. Oh! Dropped him like it's a bad habit. And he's going for the leg lock. That's got to be it. Roddy Cocker has the leg. This Ali Ibn Nazar is going to tap and that's it. That's the match. Roddy Cocker, the submission specialist, puts both men away. What a match. What a match. Roddy Cocker gets the win at the end. Gets the win at the end. He worked on the legs the entire match. And he gets the win at the end by a heel hook. Excellently done. Rowdy Cocker is your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, don't do this. Oh, no, 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 what? no. You don't have to do this. Oh, the ref is getting brutalized here. Rowdy Cocker is making sure he leaves with a statement. Who can stop Rowdy Cocker, ladies and gentlemen? Who can stop the Rowdy Rowdy one? Ro Ro Rowdy Cocker leaves here with a statement and here's his goon handing him his just, belt. Just take that title off. Please don't do this. Wow. As if that means anything in the pro wrestling world. Even if it doesn't, here we are as Rowdy Cocker stands above all of us, the winner of the triple threat match. Oh man, somebody get the referee an ice bucket. I hope Moin. Oh no, <laughs> Moin, poor Moin. Rowdy's got some words. Let's hear him out. Today, I'm the winner of this ring. 
My name is Dobi Kamu. Lord, we have been so that I can Who can be called the son of Dean? lays down the challenge. Oh no, Muin! Muin gets hit! No, Muin! Oh, Muin! Muin, you had a job to do! Oh my god! The most gracious fall I've ever seen. Muin of Dean laid out by Rowdy Cocker. Man, that is intense! Rowdy Cocker has issued the challenge, ladies and gentlemen. If you can hear the sound of my voice, Khan Baba, I have covered you in my videos. I have talked about you, and today I let you know that the challenge has been laid out. Rowdy Cocker versus Khan Baba for the championship that he holds in his hands. Rowdy Cocker says, Khan Baba, you can't last five minutes in his world. Come to WRG, baby. Prove him wrong. Let's go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Main event time here at July Kijong Wrestling Revolution Global. His way to the ring, weighing 100 kg, from the hall, the lion, Haru Harry Lyon, Harun Rashid, donning the mask, making his way to the ring. Looks like a legit bona fide badass because he is one. Recently picked up a big grappling win at Spark Fight Night. Harry Lyon is here, ladies and gentlemen. That's a superstar. That's a superstar right there. Throws the mask at us. I got it. I'm going to put it on. No, I'm not. Corona. Harry Line in the ring. And that music can only mean one thing, ladies and gentlemen. The face of WRG. Here we go! Jibran Khan is here! With my, with all due respect to the man to my right up there, Aman, this guy undoubtedly is the number one attraction here in WRG. He is undoubtedly the man, the myth, the legend, the undefeated, riding a 14 fight match win streak into the main event tonight. The much more experienced, the hard-hitting, the undoubtedly brilliant Gibran Khan, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Gibran Khan is here, clapping hands with the entire audience. This is his element. This is his ring. This is his company. And this is Gibran Khan. Harun could be the one. Harun very well can be because he's evenly matched. Everyone else, Gibran is faced. Yourself, Abdullah Khwaja, Blue Mysterioso. Not quite quite the size, 
similarity, but this man, Harun, my God, these guys are evenly matched if there ever was a thing. Moinuddin thankfully taking no smacks to the face while doing his job this time. Harry Lyon getting checked here by the referee. Gibran Khan gonna get patted down as well. Yeah, bullshit accusations I would say. Harry Lyon's a legit badass. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's main event time. It's two big hosses. These guys hit harder than a truck. And they die up in the center of the ring. Man, I'm excited. Both guys, nobody willing to take, take a step back. Look at that. It's like looking into a mirror. These guys are so similarly built. Of course he's in the main event. Of course he's riding. Riding an undefeated streak. Getting the crowd involved. That is a very dangerous position to be in. If you have something to lose. Oh, throws him in the ropes. Oh, shoulder tackle. Nobody budges there. Wow. You love to see it. They're respecting each other. This is what you want to see, an even match, a fair fight. We're finally going to have one of those tonight. Jehran Khan really feeling it, but he's got to keep, they both got to keep their eyes on the opponent. The chance of Harry and Jibran in the theater here. Call her elbow tie up. Harry Lyon, of course, the favorite, the hometown boy. The Divine Garden superstar, Gibran Khan, throws him to the ropes. Ooh, nobody budges once again. That's two stalemates. And this time, I think, they're going to go for a third one, I'm sure. Gibran Khan and Harry Lyon. Harun Rashid, a legitimate grappling champion. Gibran Khan, they tie up. Arun Rashid already sounds like a legend, man. This guy is going to make it big. That, that's why he landed the main event on his very first fight. He deserves this. Takeover throws him there. And ladies and gentlemen, finally, when the horse is pushed. Oh, no. Harry lines up. Harry lines up. And Jibran Khan's going to give him props where props are due. Look at that. Chance of Harry. I think Gibran encourages it. He doesn't care. He's just here to win the match, collect the paycheck, go home. That is a very apt statement for a champion, for an undefeated champion like Gibran. Like a prize fighter. That's an apt statement for a prize fighter, and that's what Rizwan wants to be. Oh, okay. Oh, they, 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 oh okay. Okay, they want to go for the old, the old test of strength. Jinx Yomi Soda. Oh, oh, there we go. Immediately into it. Harry Lyon, Gibran Khan, center of the ring. This is a test of strength as pure as it gets. All those old school wrestling fans, Jim Cornette, here is your little tea for the evening. Classic wrestling. In, into the turnbuckle. Again, going for a headlock. Harry does not allow it. Irish whip reversed. Whoa! Sublime! <laughs> Sublime! That is the only way to define that. Jibran's extended. Hey, you gotta give him props, props, Jibran. Kafi Fitta, you gotta give him props there. Oh my god, I just exchanged words with Jibran Khan, I love it. The kid inside me is going crazy right now. Ah! <laughs> I yeah. love pro wrestling, guys. That's I'm sorry. true, Daniel. No, I, I never thought I'd be ringside commentating on these guys. This is exciting stuff. Lock up again. Center of the ring. Headlock. Ooh, puts him over. 
Reverses it into a headlock of his own. Beautiful technique there. Both these guys very well versed in the headlock game, I must say. Oh, Gibran Khan ducks under. Oh, here it comes. Oh! Super hitting's begun. Beautiful suplex there by Gibran Khan. Hey! I gotta give him props there, Gibran. There you go, bro. Nobody wants to give Gibran props. All guys here. Oh, Arun! And there you go, the crowd goes unglued. Haroon is the Divine Garden's hero, the Lahore hero. He's getting that warm reception, but Gibran Khan nonetheless, very impressive, impressive suplex of his own. What a match and what a night this has been, boys. Very evenly matched. I, I just don't know. This is like, as you said, it's like looking in a mirror for these two. Wow! Whoa. Catching a hundred kill man midair. He caught him in midair. I can't believe it. Gibran's like, I don't need to pin this guy. He's going to punish him, he says. Gibran is just so lovable, so good. Okay, guys. Oh, my God. Fall away incoming. Oh. Fall away slam. Gibran Khan, beautiful technique there. Superstar energy, man. I love this guy. You have to say Gibran Khan is really the best in the business here in WRG. Gibran Khan's like, you don't want to cheer for me? That's perfectly fine. Home crowd advantage. Unlike some other wrestling promotions, we acknowledge who the crowd is cheering for here. We don't make it up on the spot. <laughs> and we actually train people properly. And don't get him hurt. Looking at you, Johar Town. You know who you are. Oh! Almost there, hitting the apron. Oh, that's a hard, hard hit in the apron there. Whew. It's the hardest part of the range. Gibran Khan is dazed. Oh, what no. could happen? Oh, no. no, no, no. Harry Lion taking flight. Oh! oh! Gibran Khan They've been has gone into the, the seats. Harry Lion, Harry Lion, Harry Lion with an excellent, excellent dope suicida. My God. Are they okay? Gibran's up somehow. Gibran is, he's, he's not awake. He's out on his feet. There's Look Arjun, at him. They're heading, they're heading in to check in. The medics are heading in to check in on Harun and Gibran. Look at see. Look oh at that. Oh my God. I cannot believe. Wow! Are they really up? Can they continue that, fighting is the question. That has to be the single greatest highlight reel moment in WRG history. Harry Lyon jumping to his dope suicide. My God! Wow! Gibran is out! Guys, guys! 14 and 0. This could be the first loss and the first win for Gibran, uh, for Harry Lyon, pardon me. Gibran, I've never seen him in this much trouble. I've never seen him this hurt. I've never seen him this dazed. I Hard shots. I wouldn't count him out just now, Daniel. Uh, Gibran, has, he has that fighting spirit. He knows how to win. I am expecting a huge, huge comeback from him right now. He's going to pin him. One, two, and that's all she wrote. Oh! No way. I that's thought right. that was it. The ref calls it too, and that's exactly what it is. I love Harry's mask, by the way. This shit is cool as fuck. I don't know where he got it. I wouldn't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. Can't do that. Harry Lyons mask. I absolutely love it. Oh, knee drop there. You want to put it on, Moeed? I think you hang around with these guys much more than I do. For sale on eBay, this is for $350 <laughs> original <laughs> Harry the Lion Arun mask. Contact me for it. I'll, I'll send you my number later. <laughs> Hard kidney shots there. Punishing knees brought down. Muhyiddin, ring announcer, commentator, eBay specialist. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Gibran now being brought up to his feet. Harry Lyon has put on a performance of a lifetime in front of his father, in front of his friends, in front of his family. What an amazing match. Irish whip thrown there. Ducks under. Gibran Khan's awake. Gibran Khan knocks him down with a hard clothesline. Second time of the match. Gibran's starting to come to it.
that tall figure is something to admire. Jabron Khan, he looked like a superhero after that move. He's like a high-speed taxi cab, red and yellow, and as fast as they come, DDT drops Jabron, center of the ring. He's too far from the ropes. No rope breaks. Harry Lyon can't capitalize. He's too hurt. One, two. He kicks out. Go on. I don't know what comics you've been reading, Daniel. Um, taxi ca taxi ca cabs as heroes. <laughs> I mean, every single one of them for this show. And honestly, I never thought I'd call Gibran Khan a taxi cab, but here we are. I said it. Let's move on. <laughs> Both guys now getting back to vertical base. Gibran. Oh, my God. Harry Lyon runs in front of us. Ducks under does Gibran. Close line gets him the second time. My God. Guys, I've never seen Gibran these days. I've never seen him this much trouble. Oh, my oh. God. Running clothesline. Somebody's offering him some water. That's much how, how much they love him here. This is home turf, man. This is Perks. What's he doing? What's he thinking? Harry Lyon right in front of us. Whoa. Oh, ho, ho. On. Two. Oh, and a kick out. Shades of the ultimate warrior, I believe. Did, did Warrior do that? I, okay, okay, okay. I was just checking. I was like, maybe I'm wrong. Wrestling Revolution Global, July Kijang. If you are watching this right now, you are not late. You are just in time for the main event of the evening. Brought to you by Wrestling Revolution Global and on the mic. We are very, very proud to bring this to you. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe. Go check out Wrestling Revolution Global on all social media. Muin will tell you all about that. He's the expert. Throws him into the ropes there. Irish whip. Oh! Single knee Manhattan drop almost. Gibran refusing to lay down, and you can see more of that. Oh! Discus clothesline! One, two, no! Kick out! That is insane! The Discus Lariat! Nobody's kicked out of the Discus Lariat! And here's Harry Lyon, all guts! Somehow he's still in this. Yeah, he takes that Gibran's one. taking a sip, yeah. making sure he's Oh, there you go. <laughs> Some part of his opponent. Humiliation. Gibran Khan doesn't care, man. He's here to put this guy away. There are no friends in this business. You know that, Abdurrahman. Kick to the mix section here. Oh, no. What's he looking for? Oh, my God. Oh, power for one. Two. He kicked out at one! He kicked out at one, ladies and gentlemen! How in the hell? Look at the... What even is this match? Gibran Khan can't believe it! How did he kick out? How did he kick out at one? That was a hard power bomb! A hard power bomb! A release power bomb! Gibran saying that's it, he's had enough. He's gonna look for another discus wow. here. Oh, he's going for a spear. Oh my god, imagine this guy running at you. Arun is in trouble. He is in trouble. Like the bumblebee from Transformers, this yellow and black machine. I'm sorry, Muin. He's setting up for a spear. He's gonna run through him. Harry Lyon. Oh, gets oh. his knee up. Gets his knee up. That's crucial. That is absolutely crucial. Picks him up. Rock bottom. Harry Lyon. Will he finally become the king of the jungle? Harry Lyon, one! He kicks out at two, my God! Whew, what a match! What a match here for your main event at Wrestling Revolution Global, July Kijang! Harry Lyon absolutely putting it on Gibran Khan. And Gibran Khan has put out everything. Discus clotheslines, power bombs. If he would have landed that spear, this would have been game over by now. But Harry, Harry knows better. Haroon, Saad coming. Wow, watch this. Oh, oh, running spear. That's it. One, two, three. That's it, Gibran wow. Khan. Gibran Khan. Gibran Khan has done it. 15 and 0. 15 and 0. This man is undefeated yet again. What a match. Harry Lyon, Harry Lyon of the Rahman, what a performance.
Gibran has done it, Harry Lyon. I'm so happy for that. Maybe Gibran will change it, who knows. But Harry Lyon, what a performance. Harry Lyon showed the heart of a warrior. He's going backstage, but here he is, Gibran Khan. Here he is with his people. He's here with the people. He has done it, Gibran Khan wins tonight. He is victorious. He is the last man standing at the end of WRG. I am so happy that I got to do this. Abdurrahman and Muin joined me for the night. And what an amazing end to the night. True heavyweights, true professional wrestling. This is WRG, July Ki Jung. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for joining us. From myself, from Muin, from Abdurrahman. This has been